you not close the dishwasher after the dishes? was your turn. <laughs> hey, you're not filming this, are you? You're yes. ruffling my feathers. So, okay. Good morning. This is my last and final group of the Costa Rica season. Pretty excited. We have Julie, who's on her phone taking photos, Anastasia, and Jamie. Nobody has shot a tuna before. On top of that, nobody has shot a cubera either what's on the list we're gonna go for cuberas today we're gonna warm up get them kicked in get the mammalian dive reflexes rolling we just we i mean we got in at 11 o'clock at night last night they've been traveling all day so we had a really nice slow start this morning no need to get burnt out we got four days of diving here plus a waterfall day so we're gonna take our time So we uh, we got in super late last night. Everyone's tired, everyone's dragging. You know what, I'm glad that we're doing a reef day today. We're gonna get to warm up, we're gonna get to settle in. Everyone's gonna get massages later today. It's way better this way. The visibility looks amazing for what it usually is. We're in like 70 foot of water and it's blue, which never happens. So I think it's gonna be a good day. So Julie shot it right through the eye. I shot on a guacamole. Probably have this. Oh, look at the eyes hang it out. Uh. <laughs> shot the eyeball out of the fish. So we'll probably have this for some ceviche or pargo and taro. You can see clean through. That's sharp shooting. No meat wasted at all. Look at that. You can literally see through it. I know. Way to break the curse. We got some blood on the boat. That was crazy epic. There was at least 300 pargos just up in the water column, maybe 20, 30 feet up. Julie ended up getting one, a real nice one. Throw that up there. Look at that. Look at the color. So pretty. <laughs> Throw that thing up there. <laughs> Are you guys making the fish kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Throw that fish up here, Anastasia. We just got walled again by these snappers. They're just everywhere. A big ball of at least 200 of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we actually doubled up. So she shot that one. And while she was fighting it, the whole school came up and actually ended up giving uh, Jamie a chance to shoot one too. So we ended up with two snapper, one dive. It was epic. Another one. Woo. Yeah, nice one. That's gonna be yours. Another double up. The girls handled the business. Let's see if we throw these snappers on the boat. Oh, I got two guns in my hand. <laughs> All right, toss them up there, girls. Got another one. We had the most insane day. We were running back, so I didn't want to do it then. But we have a full cooler of guacamiles. It seemed like every dive we went down, we were at least shooting one, if not shooting two. But the entire cooler is filled with guacamiles. One here, one there. Just loaded down with guacamayo. It was the first time all season that we've actually had guacamayos just everywhere. It was a giant ball, giant school. They were up at like 30 foot. We'd get one shot off and then they'd go down for a second. They'd come right back up and we'd get a second shot off. So crazy, crazy epic day. We're gonna make it a couple different ways. We're gonna have uh, ceviche, fish fingers, maybe some tacos and and why not? Let's do a pargo and taro, right? We'd love doing the pargo and taro where we scale it, take out all the guts and gills, put some scores in the sides of the fish 
dish, stuff that with, you know, onions, peppers, tomatoes, stuff like that, and cook it whole on the barbecue. When we cook it on the barbecue, we actually wrap it with banana leaves and it helps keep in that moisture and it gives it a little bit of flavor too. So I'll take a video of that, but we're gonna have a sick dinner tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, perfect. You wanna be like right here and you wanna be facing like out, like that way a little bit. Yeah, there we go. But now hold them up. One, two, three, look at me, eyes open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, next person. Woo. Next person right there. Okay, eyes closed. Three, two, put the fish closer together. Three, two, one, open. Look, 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 look. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Boom, I'm snapping, snapping, snapping. Okay, epic. Next person. Okay, we're snapping now. Hold on. Go a little bit more that way. Yep. I don't know why my phone just freaked out. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now we'll do the whole group. All right, I'm just snapping photos. Look different ways. Act like you like each other. Ha ha ha. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh, wow, with the spin. Good morning, good morning. We are on day two of the last group of the Costa Rica season. Today, we're gonna focus on doing tuna. Nobody has done tuna yet. Again, we're gonna get into the tuna grind. Who knows, maybe right off the bat, they're gonna be everywhere and super easy. Could be super tough. You know, as you guys have seen before, sometimes the tuna just cooperate and they're there and they're ready. Other times, they make it really difficult. We'll be out there all day just trying to get a good shot off. We'll see how that worked for the first time uh, doing tuna, so jumping in off the boat yesterday was uh, an introduction to that. It's not as fast and, you know, it's not as crazy. Sorry, they did great. They, uh, they jumped off, hit 60 foot dives. Wasn't really a problem. So I think they're gonna be okay for tuna today. The only thing I think is that there may be some blue water fever where they see all the tuna, they think they're closer than they actually are and they take some shot or they think the tunas are moving slower than they are. By the time they take the shot, the tunas are already past them. You gotta pull the trigger. You gotta pull the trigger, those fish. Either way, I would not be surprised if we have a handful of misses, a handful of learning opportunities, right? You have to dive. Before we end up with some success. I'll be super stoked if we end up taking the first shot and landing the tuna right off the bat. So stand by for that, about the process, all that stuff. But for right now, I'll ask them, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? I'm ready. Not nervous. Nerves of steel. Tuna for Miss Julie. There's <laughs> one, not bad. All right, try to throw it in there. Ready? Uh, uh. Okay, so that's the heart. Still beaten. First time you gotta do a big bite. Don't do a little bite. Oh, it's gonna suck. It's fine. Okay, yeah. that was a real bite. That's yeah, okay. You want a soy sauce? Uh -huh. <laughs> you said you want soy sauce. Soy sauce? Yeah, please, soy sauce. Beautiful. First tuna for Jamie. Oh, yeah. We got a double up right now, so I'm gonna i gonna throw that up there. Oh. We're actually gonna go ahead and help uh, help Anastasia fight her fish right now. So we're gonna get in the boat. We'll do the ritual with both of them later since there's a double up. They'll eat the hearts together. 
Let's go get Anastasia's fish. Mm -hmm. This one could possibly be bigger than Julie's. I don't know. <laughs> it was drowning her. Okay, ready? Three. We're gonna go ahead and try to slap it up there. Ready? One, two, three. Oh boy. Oh yeah. So we have two first timers that doubled up together, so it's only fitting that they eat the heart together. So cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a tiny bite. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. Yeah, it just tastes like iron. It tastes like it doesn't taste like much, but the, the texture time. is. Oh, it should go like this. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Second one for her. She's done for the day, living it out. Nice little butter ball. Julie just ended up taking a shot on a smaller one, and then while we were unloaded, we got absolutely walled by monsters. I thought I had my GoPro on. We'll see if I got some of it, but I could have pull speared some 100 pounders. It was incredible. So we're gonna hold off and we're gonna make sure we only shoot big ones from now on. I don't know, at least 150. 150, 160. I got somebody uh, smoke back. You can see on the video when he pulls, you can see the, the shape of this. This slip tip is right there. You can see that's all that's holding this fish right now, or was until I got that second shot. I'm glad and justified now that I put that second shot in the head. I just shot my personal best yellowfin tuna. I can't thank these guys enough for letting me have a drop. At the very end of the day, everybody had already taken at least one tuna. Two people got to, actually we were working on getting our last person their second tuna so that all three people could limit out. Anastasia looked at me and goes, you know what, I'm getting kind of tired, why don't you make the drop? I had been eyeing this fish all day. He had a hook and a line in his mouth. I seen him all day and I knew he was big. There was others the same size as him and I was hoping that these guys would get him. I was lucky enough, they let me have a, one drop with the gun and I made the drop hit the fish. I spent the next 40 minutes getting towed around like a, like a rag doll. The only other time I felt anything like this was when I was with a couple other guys and we landed a 280 pound yellowfin and then a, a 320 pound yellowfin. Uh, this is not the same kind of animal. I think that this fish is gonna go 170, 180, 190. I'll be shocked if it goes over 200. If it goes over 200, that, that'll, be, that'll be crazy, nuts. Yeah, it's rolling. Only 160. No, no, 167. Okay, 157. Just shy of 160. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We are on day three. Really, really slow start today. After getting in late the first night and then 
diving really hard for two days straight. Anastasia had her forehead on the breakfast table at one point in time this morning. We're gonna definitely take it easy today. We all landed our tuna. I think now it's more about picking out a really big one. Once we start hitting some of these big ones, it's going to be an all out war. Yesterday, we actually got dragged around at the surface for like 40 minutes before we could even like bring up line. That's the crazy part um, about fighting some of these big fish. You never know how long they're gonna fight for. Sometimes I go down really easy. It just depends on the shot. I think a well welcome break is coming. We're gonna do a waterfall day the next day. We're gonna get rejuvenated and be ready to go back at it on day four. We're super stoked. I'll let you know how we do for the rest of the day. I know I said that everyone was tired and you guys might not have taken me seriously, but this is just how tired everybody really is. the school we just jumped in we did a bunch of warm-ups it seems like everyone's back to life again everyone looked good hitting 40 50 foot we're gonna just see what's up I mean today there's no pressure I mean we got all the fish yesterday we got snap of the day before it's really all just for fun right now hopefully we can pick out some big ones from the school So after yesterday being one of the best days of tuna we've had all season, today was one of the worst days of tuna we've had all season. They were all sporadic, kind of deep. When we did see them, there weren't that many of them. Most of the time, they weren't very big. Tough diving all around, went through the tuna grind today. So in a way, I'm kind of happy that they got to experience the tuna grind because if all they had was success, they wouldn't really get to appreciate it as much. So I think now after seeing how difficult it can be yesterday, so much more special you know today today we got our butts handed to us here we are doing the walk of shame <laughs> she is not ashamed i'm not ashamed either <laughs> jamie nope okay they're not ashamed i think as a consensus they were humbled oh yeah i could have shot that you know for sure today was just one of those days but that's okay we had two crazy epic days today was super slow super tough we are gonna have a really 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 well deserved and well needed rest break tomorrow well-deserved rest break. We're gonna go get rejuvenated at the waterfall. I'll take some video of that. Probably jump off the cliffs and all that good stuff. Then we have the long drive back. It'll be interesting. We're gonna have all of my dive gear that I've had here for the last three months. We're gonna try to pack it into this little mini SUV. They're probably gonna have to strap some bags to the, to the roof or something. It's not gonna be a comfortable ride. Glad I'm driving. <laughs> Anastasia wanted to make sure that everyone was reminded of the real goal of today. Julie. It was me. <laughs> We all promised that today, if we're gonna shoot a tuna, it had to be bigger than the one that we shot yesterday. You know, we were all happy we got two yesterday, so the goal of today was if we were to pull the trigger, it had to be at least a hundred pounder. We did good, we did good. We actually, no, we like show a lot of like self-restraint and self-control because we saw tunas, but we just decided not to kill them. See that? So we saw tunas, they just decided not to kill them because they're oh, contemplating mom. going vegan. But then, I, <laughs> but then I missed that shot. I missed that shot, I will say. That we did, we did, we did have one opportunity at, of tuna that was way bigger than the one I shot. Thing was a monster, but again, they were just fewer and further between tough diving. Everything was deep and scarce. Even though we did see some tunas, the greater majority of them were, you know, when we saw them, it was just a handful. It wasn't like, it wasn't like normal. So, and you guys have seen all the other videos that I've been posting. So you guys will definitely be able to see the difference, right? I'll show you what yesterday looked like versus what today looked like. So anyways, ciao. Day four. We're gonna go for tuna. Have had one incredible day of tuna, one not so incredible day of tuna. And I think today we're gonna remove the ban of from uh, small tunas and just shoot the first tunas that are shootable. And then we'll worry about upgrading size after that. Everyone looks like they have a lot more energy than they did on day three. Everyone was able to go to the waterfall, rejuvenate, and then actually get some good sleep and not be too tired. The crew's looking good, the crew's in good spirits, and we're on a different boat today.
Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. We were down at depth. They were up at the surface. And I started barking at her. I'm like, you gotta go up, you gotta go up. And then she starts, is you're gonna take over this line that she just shot it with. You're gonna stay on that line. You guys are gonna keep that line at that 45 degree angle. We're gonna have to pick one direction to swim and one direction only. Okay? Hey, you're gonna take your knife. I want you to sit. Right? But don't put your head inside the fish, okay? Don't put your head. Lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Simba. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready, Jamie? Help her with this fish. You don't need to slam it unless you want to treat the meat properly. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> 